Hi everyone, in this video I am going to share how to add courses in the building. So let's go to the video. For creating the categories, we are going to click on the site administration button and then select courses from the top bar. When we then click on manage courses and categories, we can see all the categories that we created on the left hand side. We can see that by the number 0 in front of some graduation caps. In order to create a course, you first want to select the category the course should be stored. In my case, I need to create a computer science course for my November intake in the morning. So I click on the exact category and the selected category will be displayed on the right side. Then you click on create a new course. And now we can start the with the details of the course. First thing you have to provide two names for the course. The course full name and the course short name. The short name is actually the name that the Moodle database uses to identify your course. While the full name is the name that the users see so we are going to write the full name now let's say computer science for business and then we get it a short name which is usually a short form of the full name that makes sense so we can cfb1 one important thing to mention here is that all the details that we are providing right now can be changed and edited later. We already selected the course category before it is displayed correctly here. But you can always change the category by clicking the category by selecting one from drop down menu. And this menu displays all the categories that you have created before. When you create new courses, you should always have visibility on hide that there is no chance that students can see and access the course while you are actually still working on. As long as you have visibility on show, all enrolled students can access the course even when this course started. Another thing with the course start date is that we you have weekly format for your course the start and end date does not restrict students from accessing the course it simply determines under which filter is being displayed on the dashboard so a course where the end date has passed could be found under the past course filter therefore if you like you can even disable the course and date however if you tick this box here calculate the end date from the number of sections the end date is automatically calculated by how many weeks you add to your course this is again only applicable to the weekly format so the course ID number is something that you really don't have to worry about too much because it is mainly used to identify the course for external systems so when you link your course to other systems outside of the Moodle environment which to be honest is usually only done by large institutions right for example when you have already your course with an official institution or something so we just leave it blank we can now provide a short description of what the course is all about that course description can be seen in the dashboard overview now one thing that might really make sense to differentiate your course in the dashboard is adding an image you can either drag and drop an image into the field here or you can click on the empty field and then choose an image from your computer just be aware that Moodle most likely we cut away 
a few parts from your image and will only take the part of it Now let's come to the format options. They are really important so you can pick from a few points that determine the layout of your course. The weekly format we have seen that before divides your course into weeks. The weekly format then again gives you two additional options down here. You can hide sections from your students if you are maybe still working on a particular section. So topic and weekly format are the major two formats the social format simply displays a forum on your course page so you don't even have a description around it or anything it display a forum and the single activity format here only allows you to add one single resource on your entire course page which you can select from here. Let's have a look at appearance now. Force language, leave it it us because it just changes the language of all those buttons and everything here. So obviously you want to keep it in your current language and that is a fine number of announcements. So in your course you have a communication tool that is called announcement forum which is automatically created when you create a new course and in this kind of special forum you can place news or general information for the entire class that is then displayed for everyone in a block called the latest latest announcement block so in the settings you can select the number of announcements that you want to show in that particular block if you select one it will only shows one announcement there even though you might have four or five or six announcements in your forum itself so i would say two announcements that are the number i would recommend if you don't want to use the announcements forum at all you can just put it at zero and the whole announcement block just disappears from the course next is the show grade button to students if you have already selected a yes, students have an icon in the left hand menu here you can see which brings them a great overview of all their assessments having selected no entirely removes that icon from the students and therefore they can't see their grades so i would always have it is on s yes in my opinion students have the right to see their grades now show activity reports so there are reports of each and every participants in the course that helps you to see views and what people are doing and also do analysis and so on so if you have show activity reports selected as yes participants and students can see their own reports they would just have to go to their own profile and under reports they can see what they are actually doing in the course if no is selected in the reports simply don't show up in their profile i would personally suggest to have it on no because it might he have a bit distracting for students to check what happened is recorded about them now files and uploads participants can upload all different kinds of things to your course whether it is through assignments or content or wikis or forum post and so on so you should limit that in a way that you are don't go beyond your site capacity there you can see a little completion bar for each course students can take all the activities that they have completed throughout their course and according to how many they have ticked the progress bar fills up here I think it's very nice way to inform students how far they are in the course. Group assignments, group forums, certain material intended only for a particular group. You have to enable the group mode. 
and it gives you two options separate groups is a really strict option where students work in their own group and can only see the content of their own group why with visible groups students still work in their own group but they can also see what other groups are doing if you don't plan to have any students working in a group at all just select a no groups however if you select any of the separate groups or visible groups you can force that group mode for all activities that you have set up in your course now we have two more options left and that is very easy one is role renaming so within a course you can allocate different roles with different permissions to users during the enrollment process a student cannot change anything on it but if someone has a teacher role that user can edit and add course materials right it is very obvious and moodle has also very obvious names for those roles roles like teachers and students if you still want to rename these roles whatever you can just type in the role names that you prefer so let's just say i want to call my students minions so just type in here the role permission they stay the name same so they would be still be students obviously but you uh, as a admin would see minions instead of students the last one is text so tags allow users to find courses using search terms that you can define here for this for example we would want to put a tag called computer so we type in computer and click enter another one word for example beginners we can click enter again so this is how you can create different tags for your course and if students then search for these terms they will find easily what courses are related once we are done we just click on save and display button our first course has been created and we are right in it few more important things you can always change all the settings that we just discussed even when the course has already started you just click on the gear icon up here and then click edit settings and you will see the similar page that we just all went through we have created a course now but how do we access it so we can work on it go to your dashboard and you will have your own course overview but what happened we cannot see anything why is that because we are not enrolled in the course yet the course overview only shows courses that you have an active role in as a student or teacher or whatever in other words you can need to be enrolled in the course thank you for watching the video see you